I already did a short preview of the new Renault Colios on our channel. You should probably check out the video. But now it's time to actually test the car. When I first saw it, I was pleasantly surprised with the Coleos. Compared to its predecessor, this new model is a Miss Universe, while the old one... Uh, a piece of coal? With LED lights and signature, as well as a larger front mask, Coleos is now more decisive and aggressive. The road belongs to it. A big car should have big alloy wheels, which don't compromise the ride quality, as the tires themselves are quite thick. There's plenty of space in the boot, as a car like this should have. I already showed you how much space there was in the trunk last time, but let's just do a quick recap. There's quite a bit of space for all of our equipment, no problem there. Now, since the uh, regarding the size, this is a bit of a competitor for the Skoda Kodiak, which is also a big SUV. There's uh, quite a bit of space in the back here, despite the fact that there's still a lot of space in the trunk. There's actually an enormous amount of space. You'll be sitting quite comfortably in the back. A digital instrument cluster as well as a big infotainment screen are available. The interior is a bit posher this time around, decorated with trims and ambient lighting. Renault has decided to stuff their more upmarket vehicles with large, soft and comfortable seats which you really shouldn't feel bad spending more money on. Along with lots of legroom and their own air vents, the rear passengers will also have USB connectors available to charge their life-sustaining devices such as mobile phones and tablets. Space and comfort aren't everything though, we need to drive the car. This Colios is equipped with the highest equipment package, which is the Initiale Paris, which also includes uh, the largest infotainment screen with R-Link, navigation, you've got these extremely comfortable leather seats which also look quite beautiful and they are both heated and uh, climatized which is very very welcome especially in the summer because well when you sit down into a car that's been parked under the sun for a while you feel like a pig on a roast but of course with uh, with climates uh, climatized seats you just press a button wait 10 20 seconds and it's much much better so let's talk about the engine and the uh, transmission which is of course the constantly variable transmission cvt the two liter diesel engine is quite nice it's certainly an upgrade from the 1.6 before because it just didn't have enough volume enough capacity uh, to provide for the larger cars now it's better it's still not a racer, but we have to understand that this is a big and fairly heavy car with full four-wheel drive in this version. Uh, so it's not going to be a racer, but of course you're, you won't really want to drive your kids on the highway, you know, at maximum speed and, and tell them, see, this is what zero to a hundred looks like. Anyway, the CVT is quite a lot different than what we're used to in the double clutch transmissions or normal torque converters. Uh, basically you have two cones like this which constantly adjust the uh, 
Well, the gear ratio. So in essence, you've got unlimited gear ratios, which is good because the engine can be kept at optimal RPM, whether you're accelerating or you know doing whatever. But on the other hand, it is quite lazy at times. For example, I'm in a I'm at a crossroads right now, and if I press full throttle for one or two seconds, nothing really happens until the engine and the gearbox decide that, oh, it probably would be nice to actually do something. So, um, on the other hand, it is very smooth. There's no tugging, there's no, uh, you know, feeling of the gears changing. So, uh, as far as that goes, that's quite nice. But don't expect to be racing down the road with it. Consumption, 8.4 liters per 100 kilometers at the moment. Not overly great, but not bad either, because again, it is a big and heavy car. The Colios is comfortable and practical, as well as usable in snowy conditions, thanks to its optional all-wheel drive. As far as CVT goes, I would suggest you test drive the car yourself first. I personally don't like it that much. If you'll mostly be driving to the shops and around the city though, it might prove to be a more comfortable option. You can expect prices to start at around 31,000 euros.